Hello, this is a video just uh, explaining how you can test if your texture has dilation or bleed. Essentially what that is, is um, just the, a bit of color around your texture underneath the transparency map. So basically, when an asset like this that has transparency, so flowers, grass, trees, those kind of things, feathers, has transparency around it, so it, it gives the illusion that it's it's um, not a flat texture but it, this leaf is actually standing on its own um, and you can see past in between the leaves even though this is a flat image so we have a transparency mask that allows us to do that but whatever's underneath this transparency mask because um, there is something underneath this mask when you view this asset from a distance that starts to bleed a little bit through and you can see it and if that's white, you're going to see a white edge. So let's just test this and see what's underneath this one. And we say, we go under layer, uh, layer masks, and from transparency. Now you can see the transparency mask here in Photoshop. We disable that, and there you can see dilation has been added to this foliage. Um, and that, that when enabled and viewed from a distance, that tonal color that you saw there will actually show up in Unity but because it's a tonal color it won't look broken you won't tell that there's a little bit of bleed happening so let's re-enable that so that's good to go we're happy with that let's just say that was not the case but it actually looked like that um, so there's white underneath so what we can do is you can use a plugin like X normals or you can just go in by your by hand and you can just uh, sample green and just paint it behind and you can just do a very very crude job um, and it actually works um, you can you can um, I'll show you a neat little trick this is very very quick but even this little quick um, rushed example I'll show you how you can actually get a decent result from that but uh, the plugin X normals does a pretty quick quick job as well I just, uh, you can use both. All right, so there you can see it's just this very, very crude tonal um, uh, undercolor, undercoat to prevent, just to prevent the white from showing through. You don't want the white showing through on your uh, texture when it's in Unity. Okay, so what you can do is you can just go under that. Um, dilation or bleed or whatever you want to call it and this is the texture you can just go under filter blur and then gaussian blur and that's too much but it will just uh, yeah add, add a little bit of a, a neater transition so it, it doesn't have such a crisp sharp transition um, and that's that's a quick way and then if you um, just the uh, control shift and click on your previous transparency mask and you can apply it here and you can um, flatten this whole image let's go merge group and you can export that and um, that con will contain your uh, transparency mask your texture and your dilation because um, if we disable this there we go there's the white oops and there's your dilation underneath but like I said you can use X normals to add dilation as well to plug in within Photoshop um, but this is just a neat way of uh, testing if your assets have dilation or not Hope that helps. Take care.